Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today I'm going to show you something interesting on the computer. Uh, we're going to take historical topographic maps of the Sacramento area and we're going to put them into Google Earth so we can overlay the roads, like the current road structure, over the old uh, property lines and stuff like that from earlier topographic maps. Uh, the first place we're going to start is on the USGS website. Uh, we're going to use Topo View. I will put a link right at the bottom of the screen here. We're going to click on Get Maps. And this is going to load up the topographical view search engine. Now the first thing you're going to want to do when you come in here, tell it to show you all the maps here on the right hand side of the screen. So we're just going to click Show All. And we're going to be looking in Sacramento, California today. So we're going to go up to Enter a Location here and we'll put in Sacramento. And we'll select Sacramento from the list here. And that's going to set us up, uh, since red here is the smallest map scale, that's going to set us up in this little area right here. And I'm going to be looking at the Arden Arcade area, which is uh, up this way. So we'll just kind of scoot over here. Let's see here, I get a good grab of this area. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is... Uh, I get to the area that I want to shoot here and this is this is a pretty good little setup right here okay now say I want to take a look at uh, let's see here this is Arden and Fulton I can click on that area you just click on it and it'll show you the map right here of uh, how big the scale is uh, the first map it wanted to put up was a 1992 US Geographical Survey map uh, if you go over here to the little computer and say list maps on screen, click that, and this deal will pop up right here. Now one of the maps I've been messing around with a lot lately is the 1911 survey. And I'll click on that, and you'll see down here at the bottom of the screen that it'll say view high res browse. That will load a high resolution map in your browser, you can't put an overlay on it. But what you want to do is you want to grab this KMZ file right here. And you just click on the little Google Earth icon. And it's going to download the KMZ file. Alright, now that we have the KMZ file downloaded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. And since I have Google Maps installed on my computer, I mean Google Earth installed on my computer, I can click on this and it's going to load up Google Earth. Now this is going to take a second because uh, my screen capture utility is eating most of my RAM. But it's going to spin around here and zoom into that area. And if we wait just a second, that map should pop up. Uh, if you got an older computer like me, it's going to take a second for it to do this stuff. There we go. And now we have our map set up, and this map was done in 1911. As you can see, there was not a whole lot on this side of Sacramento at that time. Now I'm going to use the pan tool up here. I'm going to give myself a slightly more overhead shot of what we're looking at. Now, if you look over here where it says it has the little Google Earth logo in your temporary places, it says Brighton, California, and everything, make sure that's highlighted. And then you can go down to this right here next to the search thing, and you can change the opacity of the map. What this is going to allow you to do is you're going to be able to see a current map over an old map. That's how that, that looks pretty good there. Now I'm going to just adjust this a little bit here. There we go. That looks pretty good. It's a good overlay. We can kind of see a little bit of both maps. All right, let's see if I can turn this a little bit and try to get the map straighter. There we go. Straighten up the map. Map's pointing north. Well, north is up. And that's it. And if you want to change the opacity, you just slide this bar over and we can go, okay, well, 
We know there's some houses down here from 19, uh, the 1900s, and ni- earlier 1911, apparently. So if we zoom in a little bit on this, and we drag the opacity down, we can see that these roads actually still exist in this neighborhood. Well, roads exist in this neighborhood, and I'm looking at this little house right here. We'll zoom in on it a little bit more. It's going to get a little blocky. But it looks like we might have just found an original house right there. That might be an original house. You know, it had to be built before 1911 when the survey was done. So pre-1910, I would guess. And that might be an original house right there. So we can go check that out on the historical listings. Um, Drop a pin in it if we really want to. And look at it on Earth mode. But I really hope this is a a good research tool, and I taught some people that don't really know a whole lot about Google Earth or computers in general how to overlay these historic maps that you can easily grab from uh, the Internet here. And let's take a look at one more map before I, I go on. There's a really good one in here. I think it was 1947. It's a small scale map. Here we go. We got a map here from 1949. Let's grab that KMZ file. Get that a loading. So I just click the get KMZ. And there we go. It's downloaded. So I'll click on that. Tell it to open. We're going to have to wait a second here while it, uh, My computer has a small coronary and tries to get this done. Now we're going to be loading both of these overlays on top of each other. What we can do to uh, make that look a little better after my little spinny wheel of stalled is there. There we go. Now, you see as the Sacramento East map here and the Brighton map in my temporary places. I'm going to unclick the Brighton map. We can unclick them both. But now we can zoom back in. Once again, I'm gonna I'm gonna pan this down a little bit so we can uh, get a better overhead look there. And then we'll spin it so we can get it get the lines kind of straight on it. Might not matter to anybody. Kind of matters to me. It just just makes me feel good when the lines are straight. But if you look through here, I mean, you can see where all the houses were marked, and this was done in 1949, so my guess would be any house 1948 or older should be on this survey. And it's just that easy. And then if we need to, again, click on the Sacramento East thing, click on Opacity, and I can drag it down. And you can kind of see right there, you know. I'll zoom in a little bit more and we can kind of overlay this over existing homes. Uh, looking at this one right here, this might be an existing home that was massively overbuilt. As we zoom out, there's a house on the property. It says there's a house there from 1949, so that might be an original home too. But once again, I hope this helps you guys out. I hope you learned something. Until next time. Enjoy the history, build stuff, and have fun.